what's up guys? You're here today with Nick the Informative Fisherman and today I want to talk to you about the three key essential bass knots that I believe every good bass angler needs to have in their repertoire. And that's the overhand loop knot which is very similar to your Duncan knots, your improved clinch knots for your fluorocarbon, and your Palomar knots for your hard hook sets, and your power fishing. Let's check them out. Okay, let's start off with the Palomar knot. The Palomar knot is absolutely crucial when you're bass fishing. It's The drop shot rig is tied with the Palomar knot, as you can see the hook's in upright position just like that. Um, my jigs are tied on with Palomar knots, my top water are Palomar. You know, pretty much everything that doesn't involve the perfect swimming action and more or less a power presentation, power hook sets, things where you're going to be doing it real strong like frog fishing through mats, Palomar knots are extremely strong, they hold up well microscopic line slip if any perfect for braided line and perfect for monofilament line but not fluorocarbon and we'll get into that okay now for your fluorocarbon line I say the improved clinch knot is the best one to go all around with and that's for your spinner baits your jigs everything else that we just talked about but if you're fishing fluorocarbon the improved clinch knot is a great choice for that due to fluorocarbon being such a harder line and it fastening back upon itself you're actually weakening the knot strength by using a Palomar, so the improved clinch knot is the clear choice for that guy. Yeah, you can't do it if you're doing a drop shot rig, so you would still have to do the Palomar there. Just try not to over fasten, lubricate extremely good, and plus you have another weight below on the drop shot, so keep that in mind. But for fluorocarbon line, the improved clinch knot is definitely the way to go. Now the overhand loop knot, which I love to use instead of the Duncan knot, a lot of people are crucial to the knots that they choose, but the overhand loop knot is very similar. You can adjust the size of the loop to, that allows your crankbait to swim perfectly freely. Crankbaits, jerkbaits, anything that you need to swim perfectly, the overhand loop knot is actually essential for doing this properly. Um, you know, there's no other techniques that I would actually use this for aside from bait fishing, which really doesn't apply to bass fishing, but the overhand loop knot is what I always use when I'm crankbait fishing. Okay, here we have the overhand loop knot. This is something I'm going to show you that's in replace of the Duncan knot. A Duncan knot's a commonly used knot on the pro circuit uh, that a lot of bass anglers use to get their crankbait to swim properly. But I like the overhand loop. I believe it's a little bit more consistent and pretty easy to do. So I simply have my tag in running through my weight here. I'm going to bring it over, give myself a good amount of line to work with, grip it, and pinch the weight here, and do an overhand knot. Simple overhand, pull the weight through, look how big of a loop I want, fasten that little loop right down to there, give it a nice medium pull, then grab my main line, give it a hard pull, grab my tag in, and give it even a harder pull, just like that. And when I'm all done, I want to trim off my tag in about a quarter of an inch. And you can see that loop right there. There's no line slippage. It'll allow your crankbait to run nice and easy, nice and smooth. No redirecting or misdirecting there. Should be perfect. Okay, now for the Palomar knot. Most people believe that the Palomar knot is probably the strongest fishing knot in the world today. And I happen to be one of those people. So let me show you this. You simply take your line here, you run it through the eye. Give yourself a good distance, run it back through to where you have the line running through just like that with a loop. Go ahead and grab the tag in in the main line into your hand and take the loop and run it over the line by pulling it through so you fasten that knot just like that, but you don't want to fasten it down. You just have a big loop in there. Then you're going to take your lure and you're going to put it back through that loop so you end up with this. Now this is where a lot of people go wrong is what they tend to do is fasten it with this bottom loop down here. But it's important to pull this and hold this up high, then lubricate your knot. At that point, fasten down snugly. Now, you want to give your main line a medium pull. This is where another guy, you know, a lot of guys go wrong here. They pull their main line too tight. And that's not really where you want to fasten the Palomar. You want to do it more or less on your tag end. So you're going to grab here and fasten real tight with your tag in and once again I like a quarter of an inch maybe a little bit less there's practically zero slippage with a Palomar knot so if you want to go shorter if you're fishing a little bit more finessey you can cut that a little bit shorter but that's your Palomar knot okay now for the improved clinch knot which is a good substitute to the Palomar knot if you're fishing with fluorocarbon line due to its hardness you run it through 
Bring it around your main line five times. Two, three, four, five. Hold on to your main line nice and snug. And the first loop that's created, you want to put your line through, right through there. And then there's a little chaser loop that's created right behind it that you want to run it right back through. Hang on to. Grab onto your main line, the two together. This is where you would want to lubricate real well. And then just fasten it down from there. And there you have it. That's the improved clinch nut. So if you're a hardcore bass angler or just getting into it, it's best to learn those three knots. If you want to switch them out, you know, if you particularly like one over the other, that's fine. But have those three variations. A good loop knot, a very strong solid knot for your jigs, a good knot that's going to work with fluorocarbon. Make sure you know at least three so you can apply that skill and apply those knots and knowing which one you need to use for each lure for each situation when you're out there on the water so you can become as fail proof as possible and an extremely successful bass angler. I'm Nick the Informative Fisherman and we'll see you next time.